Finally, we'll look at using TCP to implement HTTP, which is the protocol for web browsing. Now, suppose you have a client browser and it wants to connect this address to this address, www.ing.utah.edu slash uh, tilde cs4400, that is the class web page. Then this URL tells the browser client to contact a web server process at host www.ing.utah.edu at port 80, and it's port 80 because that's the default for web browsers and web servers. So the browser uh, will make a TCP connection to the web server, and then it'll send um, text that's like this, and we'll get into this protocol in a little bit, but it'll say get and a space, and then that path slash tilde CS4410, um, 4400 actually, I'll fix that typo, uh, HTTP 1.0, and the web server will read this, and it'll send back the web page content of that page. Now, you're probably familiar with how URLs work, but just as a, a recap in the context of the class, uh, this is the general form of a URL. The first part, the scheme, specifies what kind of protocol to use. And the, the uh, they don't have to be TCP, UDP protocols, and so on, um, but a common one, and the one we'll look at, HTTP, means a particular protocol, on top of TCP, which of course is on top of IP. You'll often see, uh, especially in modern web, the modern web HTTPS, that is HTTP sitting on top of SSL, which is the secure sockets layer, the cryptographic primitives that can host things like HTTP. Uh, SSL itself sits on top of TCP and IP and the HTTPS stack. Or it uh, could be FTP, an older protocol for transferring files, which again sits on top of TCP, on top of IP. Well, we're not so interested in any other pro protocols here. We'll just assume HTTP for, for the rest, because some of the interpretation here can be dependent on the protocol. After, uh, after the HTTP scheme, we have a host, which is an IP name. It can be a string name, like www.eng.utah.edu, uh, or it could be google.com, or it can also be a, a numerical address like 127.001, and these are all allowed by using get adder info, uh, just as we did in our other programs. The parts that are in color up here are all optional, so the port is optional. It defaults to, to port 80, as we said. So if you say uh, localhost with no colon anything, that means port 80 on localhost, localhost colon 8090, is port 8090 on localhost. The path part, which is optional and will have a slash between uh, before it, uh, that the meaning of that is completely up to the server. Uh, one possible meaning of the path is that it's a path on some file system, or it could be a request to compute something, a name of something to compute. It could also be a request to change some state, say to upload a student name into a database. Again, it's completely dependent on the web server. So just as some concrete examples, if you go to www.ing.utah.edu, uh, when you use the path tilde cs4400 slash network.pdf, that goes on the CADE file system at user cs4400, and it finds the network file inside of the public HTML directory for that user's home directory. Uh, so that particular interpretation of the path is up to the file system that's running on this host. That's a different example if you use the Google URL shortener and you go to this address, then uh, that OM5FJQ is unlikely to be an actual file. It's a request to look in some database to find out a URL to send back a redirection, uh, redirection instruction back to the browser. The query part, like the path, uh, has an interpretation that's up to the server. Uh, it's a kind of extra dimension of uh, request, and it's useful because often it makes sense to have a base path and then some options about the path, some options about how to get the file, or some options for a command. For example, if you're watching uh, videos for the class, you would probably went to youtube.com, you knew slash watch, which is a request to watch a particular video, and then that's parameterized by this query here that says which video it is you want to watch. Or if you search for Utah at Twitter, then it'll end up using a a URL like this, where it's the search command with information about Utah, and source is typed. I, I guess that's because I typed it on the keyboard in the web form. And you see how this is um, multiple query parameters here. Uh, key equals value separated by uh, ampersand. Uh, you'll also sometimes see this with a semicolon. Finally, there's a fragment in a URL. 
Unlike the path in query, the fragment is not sent to the server. Its use is, is um, for the client only. So, for example, if you go to this URL, that hash part staff under it, just scrolls, causes the browser to scroll down to a particular part of the web page. It doesn't change what is fetched from the, the web server.